Hello, I'm Dr. Heidi Horsley, the Executive Director for the Open to Hope Foundation, and I'm here today with my friend, Galen Gobin. Galen, could you tell us a little bit about yourself? Um, sure. I'm a uh, grief support coordinator for Forest Lawn, which is a uh, large mortuary in Southern California. We have 10 uh, locations out there. Uh, ordained minister in the Christian Church of Disciples of Christ and have done a lot of funerals and, and been with a lot of people in grieving situations. And what have you found helps people find hope after loss? Um, a lot of it is is living with the pain, staying with the pain, uh, but trusting that, that there is something on the other side of that and that there is hope on the other side of that and being open to that. I think that is that is really one of the things that really gives people a lot of courage to crawl inside their experience. I love that. So knowing that it's not the pain is not going to last forever. Right. Right. Yeah. You know, I remind people oftentimes uh, that it, there's often situations where they have been in before, maybe not this painful and generally not this painful, but that they've been in situations before of great loss and things and they're still standing today. That's a good one. And how does faith play into people's recovery process and healing? I think it can be, well, it's interesting because it can be a great help for many, many people. For some people, it becomes a stumbling block, uh, depending upon the kind of death and things. But for most people, I think it is a great help that they have. It gives them some place to, to stand and, and a place to have a sense of, of, of hope. You know, uh, their loved one is with God or a star in the sky or is something that, that, that connects them and that they're still around and still able to be, uh, 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 you know, have some kind of hope of being able to see them again or, or have some kind of relationship with that again. I was thinking of that, the idea of being reunited at some point yeah. again. Very much so. Uh, you know, whatever their their sense of heaven may be, everybody, everything for some people from, a, a, you know, a personal experience to I've talked to people about that sense of consciousness and being connected to the fullness of whatever, whatever uh, the meta consciousness is and the universe or things really gives them a great sense of comfort and peace when when after a loved one has died. Absolutely. And at the end of the day, I know for me, when my brother died and for many of the people that I know that have had a loss, regardless of what our belief system is, we want to know that our loved one is at peace. Yes. And safe. Yes. And I safe. Yes. You know, if particularly if the, if, the, if the death was violent or something like that, that sense of safety now, you know, in, you know, um, in the arms or in the bosom or something that is often connected with, uh, with many of those beautiful images, uh, uh, faithful art images and things, that really provides a sense of comfort and, and, and a sense of wholeness too back, particularly, again, if there was a, a violent kind of experience with that. Absolutely. And Galen, you have such a great way about you and you have such a great way of connecting to people. How could people find you that are grieving and that may need your support, your services? How would they find you? Sure. I'm at, uh, uh, go to the website, uh, www.forcelawn.com, and you uh, connect in there with uh, the grief resources. We have some resources there that would find helpful and, and all. And then there's a spot that they can email me through there. It's uh, gobin, G-O-B-E-N, at forcelawn.com. Wonderful. Thank you so much. This was a great interview. Thanks, Heidi. My pleasure. And this is Dr. Heidi Horsley for the Open to Hope Foundation.